Hi there. So it is December 24th, 2022. Wow, I can't believe we are at the end of 2022 already. This year just flew by. I guess they fly by faster and faster each year. Um, but wherever you are, I hope you are keeping warm and well. I know there's crazy weather in some parts of North America, so I hope you are warm and well wherever you are. But at this time of year, I always like to take a few minutes to pause and reflect on the year that has gone by. I know we tend to think about, or at least if you're like me, you tend to think about things that maybe you know you could have done better on or things you want to improve or you set some new year's resolutions for the next year which generally are about things that we think that we need to do better on so um for those of you who don't know me i'm karen from karen yoga life and i am a certified yoga instructor based in kingston jamaica and I specialize in working with women over 40, helping them to manage stress and joint pain with yoga. So I just wanted to talk a few minutes today or to share with you why I think it's really important to stop and celebrate our wins, celebrate the things that we think we uh, were successful at, the things we feel good about. As I said, generally speaking, I think most people tend to, you know, be negative about themselves or maybe beat up on themselves at the end of the year and feel like, oh, they should have done this and they should have done that and they didn't get to do this. But I think it's really important to pause and just take a few moments to just think about, you know, what are some of the things that you really feel good at about? What are your wins? So I'm just going to share a few questions to help you. Maybe you don't do it now, but maybe you rewatch this uh, video and just take five minutes to just think about what are some of the things that you feel really good about? So I'm just going to share with you a few questions that you can use as a guide to celebrate your wins. So the first one is how have you grown personally this year? I think this is one that, you know, we generally don't think about that much, but it's, you know, we do all evolve and change over time. And I think it's, it's helpful to think about how have we grown personally this year? How have we changed? Do we, have we noticed that we've changed or not? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. It's really, you know, okay either way, but I think this is a good question to think about you know, for, for a little while just to assess your own, your own personal growth, if that's something that's important to you. So the second question is, what do you feel proud of? What did you do this year that you felt proud of? Now, this could be a super little thing. I mean, maybe you managed to, you know, do yoga for one minute once a week, and that was new for you. I think it's absolutely important to celebrate small wins. It doesn't have to be some huge thing. You know I'm all about small, sustainable changes leading to big results. So if you manage to do yoga for one minute, once a month this year, I am absolutely proud of you, and I hope you're proud of yourself. So think about what are some little small wins, or maybe you have some big wins that you're proud of. And I would encourage you to really to write some of these things down. Write them down. I mean, it would literally take you five minutes. Just write down some of the things that you're proud of. So, you know, if next year you want to do the same process or you want to look back and, um, you know, feel, remember what you are celebrating right now. It, you'll have them written down. So related to that is just, you know, what do you feel good about? What, what happened this year? What did you do this year? Maybe you traveled somewhere new. What do you feel good about this year? Now, I know this year has been tough for a lot of people. I myself have lost uh, quite a few friends. So it's been a year of sadness as well as a year of joy and happiness. But, you know, I think it's important to just think about what do you feel good about? What, ha what happened this year that was a good thing? It could be a little thing, could be a big thing. Again, just what do, you, what do you feel good about? You know, just think about that for a few minutes. Um, and then this one, again, is a little bit um, more personal, and it is, what would the person you were a year ago 
be surprised to see about the person you are now or about your life now. So think about maybe where you were a year ago and maybe what you wanted to do the following year and just reflect for a moment on what do you think the person a year ago would be surprised about about your life right now? What has changed? Again, you know, could be positive or negative or neutral and, you know, I don't like these labels, but just think about that for a minute, maybe write them down. Again, to me, I like to, to have some kind of record of these moments or these life events so that we can look back on them and really see how much progress we have made or things, things that we've done in our past that we want to we wanna remember. And then lastly, this is something I say at the end of every single yoga class, but what is something that you are grateful for? Or what are some things that you are grateful for? Because I'm sure that there are more than one thing that you are grateful for. So just take a minute to reflect what are a few things that you are grateful for this year? It could be, again, something super small. It could be for your health. It could be for your family, for your friends, for your, the fact that we're you know, still alive. What, what are some things, or even one thing? What is one thing that you're grateful for? So those are the questions that I think are helpful to me anyway to celebrate my wins and to think about um, you know, things that I have done well this year, things that I'm proud of, things that I'm grateful for to, you know, as I say, counterbalance our tendency a little bit to be negative. So I hope this helps you and I hope that you will take the time to write down some of these wins, have a journal, have something where you write down some of these things and really take a moment to remember that you're awesome, you have lots of things to be proud of, you have lots of things to be grateful for, and I just think it's important to, to do this.